Hey guys, it's the Story Sage here, back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be going over everything that has happened in week 5, such as gameplay changes and storyline secrets, and also, what we could expect to happen in week 6, such as updates, more gameplay changes, and even more storyline. If you do enjoy these week recap videos, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe as well. And once you're done, comment below and let me know. I'll be sure to reply to everyone who does. Alright, without further ado, let's get into our week 5 recap. So let's start off this rake recap with how we always do, with the gameplay changes. And also, the most noticeable one, the fact that the abductors have been removed. Yeah, I know it's kind of sad, but people have been using the gun like the shockwave sort of repelling gun that would push other players away from the orbs, and taking it into Battle Royale with some glitches, which, you know, it's not fun. That's why shockwaves are removed, because of launching into the storm. You have UFO spamming. Take advantage of it, please. Don't scuff off the mothership, please. But if it abducts Coral Castle, then I reckon Epic will let us have a look. So pray that it will come back. Another extremely noticeable change is the changes to the lobby and also holly hedges. Yeah, have you noticed holly has been infested with aliens and growing these alien nano biomes throughout the entire week? I mean, I definitely have. It's kind of annoying. Why are there all these blue trees, all these eggs? Like, whoo. But we got some pretty sick map changes and storyline. I appreciate this epic. Here are some photos of what's been happening over the week. And as you can see, those force fields of no gravity are identical to the ones that happen when you throw an alien nanite. Yes, that's right. Let's move on to the next gameplay change, alien nanites. So these have been leaked for a while. They were in the season trailer and ever since everyone's been speculating, when will they come out? Stream tonight? Alien nanites tonight? Well, alien nanites one week ago. So yeah, they're finally here. With them, you can craft a railgun, a pulse rifle, Pfft, who's gonna craft a pulse rifle? And a chimera ray gun. Still no bad news gun yet. Epic, where is it at? But yeah, the alien nanites are pretty cool, but something annoy about them, they were really hard to find for a challenge, but Epic auto completed it, so we're all good. We're all Gucci. The alien nanites are a cool change and I appreciate it. Damn, I'm saying I appreciate it a lot. Well, because Epic, I do appreciate it a lot. <laughs> Well, you're still on your summer break, right? But you're adding changes, map changes, gameplay changes, storyline changes, a lot of damn changes for a so-called break. But I'm not complaining. Something I am complaining about is Zig and Choppy just rocking their way up to Hydro 16 and spawning these alien parasite eggs. Like, no, it's our island. Go away. We don't want war. We don't want a repeat of the Ghost and Shadow War now, do we? That wasn't fun. Something that is a fun little cool change though, is actually, again, related to Ghost and Shadow. The Ghost and Shadow Traveller henchmen have ended up at Risky Reels, and you can just find them wandering around, toasting marshmallows, just vibing, being Gucci little gamers like they are. I mean, I'm surprised I didn't die from Doomsday, but I respect you guys. My god, just thinking back to Season 2, that storyline was amazing. Doomsday, Midas and the Traitors, Ghost and Shadow. Everything was just so good back then. Man, best season of Chapter 2, 100%. But I reckon this season's a good contender. You know, we're getting some pretty good storyline too. And where exactly are we getting this storyline from? Well, the legendary quests, of course. This week, as the Believer Beach party died down, the IO continued to investigate the origins of alien believers on the island. Dr. Sloan's theory is that Sunny may be behind the uptick in anti-human sentiment on the island, and she wants us to investigate. I mean, she may have brainwashed us to work for her, but sure, why the hell not? It's no massive shock that Sunny has been an important figure in the Believers movement. Now many young loopers began to support the alien invasion, but could she be an alien herself? Probably not. It doesn't seem like Sunny is being controlled by alien parasites as whenever a player has them on their head, they can jump really high, they can go really fast. Sunny doesn't seem to do this, but maybe she's being mind controlled. The IO can do it, so can the aliens. So that's interesting. Sunny could actually be an alien herself and the IO could have similar mind controlling tech to the aliens. Maybe they want it so they can help with whatever big project they're working on. Maybe that's why they're starting a war. Anyways, back to the Sunny and Alien theory. 
We figured out that she was most likely abducted and turned into an alien last week, but the effects may wear off. Maybe that's why her NPC is normal now and only sometimes glitches into an alien. That happens with everyone, so everyone's being mind controlled. It's a lot of theorizing, but Sunny seemed to think it was cool when we had a parasite on our head, so maybe she's forgotten about all of it? Again, this brings up the idea that the IO have very similar tech to the aliens, as when someone enters the loop, as you know, they remember nothing. They can't speak, they can't really communicate, they can't do anything. But speaking of mind controlled, there is now a higher chance of the abstract NPC in Retail Row spawning in and being mind controlled by an alien. So if you see him, don't attack too fast. He might just transform into a robot and pull out a chimera ray gun. Do you really want that? Mari also said this in the quest. There's some more lore. She doesn't think the aliens are the only ones watching us. Maybe the government, maybe the IO. We don't know, but what we do know now is the Fortnite government that appeared in Chapter 1 with the Black and Yellow Vickers are Vindatech. Isn't that nice? I'll have a theory on that in another video, by the way. LeBron James? Sorry, what was that? LeBron James? Yep, that's right. LeBron James is getting added to Fortnite, and that was a very weird way to introduce it. But this is how the trailer in Fortnite introduces him. The audio was copyright, by the way, so I edited it out. Yeah, so that is the LeBron James trailer. Honestly, I do not like the skin at all, and I won't be copying it. But something that does look cool is this animated shop icon. I'll put it up on screen now. See, it looks cool. It's turned, it shows the back of the skin. Honestly, Epic, I really want you to use this for future skins. And maybe update some old skins as well to have this. It looks really, really nice. Okay, so now that we've gone over, LeBron James, the storyline for this week, and the gameplay changes for this week. Let's go on to LeBron James, skin that we'll be getting next week, the gameplay changes for next week that could be coming, and possible storyline changes for next week. God, that was a lot of LeBron James, it's in one sentence. Holly Hatchery will fully turn into Holly Hatchery with all of the houses been covered by the alien biomes. Lazy Lake or Weeping Woods will start to be taken over by aliens and the alien parasites will appear more in the lobby. Coral Castle getting destroyed? Probably not. I mean, the mothership's very close though. Fingers crossed. LeBron James skin, LeBron James cup, probably no cup since it hasn't been announced. And to be honest, that's about all the information we have. Can I just give you a reminder? Please like and subscribe. We're on a road to 1k. Well, we're not really on the road. We're actually still quite far away, but you know, I'm hoping to hit 200 by the end of this year. Maybe, maybe not, you know? If like 50 of you just sit down when you watch this video and you click that red button, you don't know how much it would help me. And don't expect anything else except the inflatable. Please, just come. Please, just arrive. You've been in the leaks for so long. Just please. Anyways, bye. By the way guys, just saying this now because after I filmed the video it would I didn't know. Abductors are back, yay!